This is yeah. an Eggman level. Yeah. It's a cool level. Those idiots. Uh, yeah, it's a fun word they use a lot in this game. This is a cool level. This is an interesting... Fire cracking like 100 <laughs> decibels. Can't hear any <coughs> Eggman talk over. Gotta be so careful here since I can't hover still. I want that parrot, but I'm not gonna try and get him. It definitely feels like in some of these levels that they did all the hero ones first. Mm -hmm. And then went back. Oh! Ugh. Well, the, you know what? The beginning of a level is a good place to die. It's a good place to bite it. Uh, these levels are miserable without the ability to hover. Which I yeah. think you get in this level, to be fair. But Oh, that was a mistake. There you go. He just has such a shallow and short distance jump. Got him. Nice. Why do you think... These are gun robots, right? Yeah. Why do you think some of the gun robots are gold? I don't know. Yeah, they're like... Special edition? Yeah. And they're worth so many extra points. This is also an odd... I don't know what's going on here story-wise. This is where his secret base is, right? He's like retrofitted these pyramids. Mm -hmm. um, but it's surrounded with all this gun bullshit. Yeah. Maybe they're on to him. And they've got flags up? This is almost more like it was a <laughs> gun base at one point. You know, I guess it makes sense that in the Sonic universe... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just messing around. I won't say it. I like that you knew what I was doing, though, as soon as I started the... Yeah, well, we do spend a lot of time together. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. But that's okay. We spend a lot of time together mentally. Bro. We I've spent a lot of time I, together in the past. Yes. I keep expecting to be able to hover. It's yeah. driving me crazy. And we're going to take you back to the past. Oh, yeah. Play some shitty games that suck ass. God, I wish we were in the ABGN. The year is 2003. If we were the ABGN, I mean, our life would be a lot different. How old is James Wolf now? Got to be in his 40s. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I don't know how old. Um, this game, these levels really punish you if you uh, don't commit fully to a jump. Yeah. Gold Beetle? It's pretty hard. Gold Beetle. Hey, the guy I was just talking about. Just the guy I wanted to see. Yeah, jumping in the Sonic games is, is a, an acquired skill that also seems to be different between every single game. Yeah, it's really unfortunate because they all the games feel so different. It's when you pick up a 3D Mario game, he just he always moves like Mario. Yeah. You know, that's something they're so good at. Right. And it's like they just never really landed on exactly how they want it to feel. Yeah, I have a question it's, for you. Yeah. Do you think I'm cute, yes or no. And second, do you think that Sonic Generations on the 3DS is bad or good? Uh, yes, and middling. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, ah, crunch them all. These are all worth... Are these all worth points? No. That's... There are artifacts I really shouldn't be behaving in such no, a way. No, I, I think... I don't think they should have put dynamite on all those stone pillars. Yeah, they didn't want to like, knock them down. Yeah. Oh! You need to see it. I was just asking because I was watching, um... Rings over there. Well, actually, I guess I sent you that... That tweet of that guy who got the Steam Deck and Sonic Generations doesn't, you know, run well on it. Right. And he was like, ah, well, it's still better than Generations on the 3DS. And I was mm. like, I didn't, uh... I didn't think that was bad. I don't think it's bad. I look, especially the Sonic Rush levels are a blast. Yes, the I good agree. Ones, the the, the, the Rush are. style levels are, are fun. Sonic Rush is cool. I mean, the good levels of Sonic Rush are good. Yes. Sonic Rush is cool. It's got a cool soundtrack. But yes. You can say that for like pretty much almost any Sonic it's game. It's rare to run across a Sonic game that has... I was not super impressed with Force's soundtrack, but I also didn't listen to it a ton. I agree with you on both of those points. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just nothing. Like I listen to a lot of Shadow the Hedgehog soundtrack. But you can't hear it super well in game. The volume leveling is mm. they're mixed pretty quiet compared to other Sonic games. And it, not every track's a banger, but there's mm. a lot of cool songs in there with neat ideas. Yeah, and we we talked about it before, but I think you're right that like 
Shadow Shadow is an interesting game because I think that all the music in it is very like thematically consistent yes. with like that whole aesthetic, which is kind of strange because like it's not often that Sonic games have like such a like a uh, yeah unified like aesthetic about them yeah. Like, from, like, not just the music, but, like, even the levels all look kind of similar. Yeah. Even though they're, like, different, you know, they're different areas, but they're all still very yeah. uniquely, you know, shadows. It's There's a weird. kind of a griminess to everything. Yeah. And, I mean, even all the jump pads and everything are, like, all rusty and weird. These aren't Sonic's jump pads. Piss poor show. Oof. Bad job. to see it. Yeah. Who's next? Um, got... Well, well I think we, it's got to be Radical Highway, I would think. Because be Rouge Highway. doesn't get another one until, like, I feel like Security Hall. I could be wrong. This is a cool room. It makes me think of Metroid Prime. <laughs> the way these, yes. like, weird cylinders and everything are moving around. So loud, by the way. Yeah, it's the... The TV volume is at one. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's... Nothing, nothing you can do. Broadcast. Oh, good. I got an English person. <laughs> I don't know if that's mysterious. He's reading ahead. That's man. I mean, you're lo- that. Hedge hole. Maybe Hitch she's guess, Yeah, I was gonna say. I guess she's not English. It's hilarious to me, by the way, that, like, so many people could see that guy and be like, that is Sonic, right? That's, well, he's the only guy that looks like... <laughs> Don't people call him the blue blur? I mean, I guess, but... <laughs> pathetic. It just cracks me up. That... Oh, God, the way their eyes move around and stuff is great. Man, they do, they straight up murk a child. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's kind true. of a pretty intense thing for him to go through. Yeah. He's a... <coughs> he's an odd guy. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. What an, I- what an iconic line. Yeah. I know I keep saying that, but uh, these are iconic games. Uh, revenge. Sonic says it at the end after Shadow dies, you know, Call as far that. as we know. But I, I don't know if he, I don't know if he ever told Sonic the story. Yeah, this level's so cool. It is. It's. I mean, it's right up there as far as like. Can't light speed dash yet. It, Gotta remember. It that. definitely feels like. Almost like they threw you a bone. <laughs> yeah. Not not the not the the first few levels are like terrible or anything, but it definitely feels like, they they're like all right, but. Buckle up. <laughs> Shadow's movement. You're about to go through some stuff. Yeah, exactly. Shadow's movement has never looked cooler than it did in this game. Oh, I completely agree. I never so. thought they got his moving animation right, like, after the fact. Nothing back here. Yeah. It, it, uh, I know we talked about this, but it's it's so weird that, like, the movement is so different between this game, Heroes, and Shadow. It's yeah. like, I don't know if they're on the same engine, but there is a part of me that is like, why did they change it, like at all? Yeah. From this game, or at least like if they, you know, tried heroes and mm. people complained, which again I'm making this up. I don't know if that's what happened. Right. But it does seem like that's what Shadow was in response to, like yeah. a, a overcorrection. So, but why wouldn't they just go back to this? Very. You know, I don't know. Oh. I think one thing that's dumb about the way these levels are designed is that you will just get shot by a fighter jet with no warning. Yeah. Although I suppose, you know, I've never, in all the years I've been playing this, never really looked close enough to see, like, do they hit in the exact same spots every time? Can you learn that? That's a good point. I don't know the answer. I want that. My guess is maybe yes, but... Come on. Yeah. Oh, well. Road closed. I should say, brother, this bridge isn't built at all. And this bridge is too high up, by the way. Yeah, they you should I, not have cars driving up the side. 
mean, car should be able to see a blimp like that. We're what, like 40 stories up? That's a huge problem with Sonic's world in general. The, the urban, again, the urban construction is, I would say, beyond haphazard. I would say it's flat out irresponsible. <laughs> like this, this is never going to work. I uh, see that felt good. I love the idea, by the way, okay. that that gun want to get rid of this person they think is Sonic so badly that they are just like carpet bombing yeah. with fighter jets like just chunks of the city and like I know it's like closed off but like s still seems like maybe uh, seems like maybe you shouldn't do that oh boy close one this level really uh, punishes you for being impatient by <laughs> making you do these long sections where you're just kind of floating but come on. I'm back. Can you break this guy? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Well, look at that. Shadow is the ultimate life form. So you try and have a fighter jet now. I guess we'll go to the child garden after this. The ledge thing is nice. Yeah. Adventure does not have any sort of ledge protection at all. Sometimes it causes more problems than it solves, but still. Vengeance is fine. Vengeance is fine. This is a very cool song. I used to be very good at this game. <laughs> I still think you're good at it. Thank you. I feel like um, I feel like Westopolis is inspired by this level a little bit. The there's there's music parts or just visually or <laughs> I just mean like some of the way the level <coughs> is put together. I, I like there's there's that tunnel in the first Westopolis that reminds me of this the tunnel in that you just went through. I yeah. Like the big knight's head. I do too. Shadow visually, actually, a lot of what's, I think what's going on in some of those levels is it feels like a a marriage of the hero's art style with Sonic Adventure 2's art style. Okay, yeah. You know, some levels like Prison Island and the city levels really, they still have a lot of the, the, the textures I don't think are near as impressive. Mm -hmm. I could be remembering wrong. Sure. Not my best work. Um, he's not worried about it. I love his result lines. Yeah. I'm personally a big fan of I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest. And he is, but, you know. I don't know, I forgot we're going to chat world. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to do anything here. It's just nice to stop by. Saving chat data. I love how he, his, that, like, idle yeah. stance, he's like the Terminator. It's cool. This song rules, by the way. Yeah. I love this song. This is a different song than what plays in the Dreamcast version. Really? This is the Chow Race Zone song from the first Sonic Adventure. Mm. In the original Dreamcast version, it plays that boop, 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 mm. Yeah. Okay. I also think it's wild that... Uh, in the first Sonic Adventure, the Chow Gardens were just physical spaces in the world where people right. went to visit Chow and help raise them. And in this world, it's a separate. In this, it's a separate dimension. Mm -hmm. I've heard ch chatter that the Chow Gardens might be back in some form in Frontiers. You gotta be really careful with how you do this. How do you do any of this? You gotta. You gotta this. So pick it up and just kind of hold the stick to the left when you do it. And do that for, I'm going to say another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and put it down. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, pat him. That's good. Hit Y. Whatever Y is. Take him off. What's his face look like? Oh, he's just neutral. He doesn't have... You know, I it's I love that. He just isn't I don't know, like his Julie body. Yeah. It's the same physics they were using on Rouge's zones. I am one hundred percent sure it is. Uh so we can give him a bunch of stuff. You want me to give him these things? Yeah, give him those things. How is that coming? The chaos drives are an interesting addition to this. I I always really like um that like smearing they do. Yes. <laughs> Especially when they're all bunched up like that. It looks cool. 
Come here, sweetheart. Come here, little guy. Yeah, the chaos drives don't give near as much Can attribute wise as um, as animals do, but they also don't alter its appearance really. Hmm, interesting. But he's already getting darker just from you hanging out and like touching him. That doesn't seem fair. Hero Chow, Dark Chow. I mean, the, the expansions of the Chow Garden in this were very cool. And again, the original adventure does not have any of this meter stuff so that you can see that other guy hatched over there. I see. You want this? Oh, that's great. Oh, he's got those in it. got tusks. I'm not a big fan, but I love you anyways. And you're my best friend. That isn't Jake. Yeah, and his name is. His name is. Smuckers. Which is different than Smuckers. I love him. My, fr my friend Smuckers. He's saving Chow data. You know, I don't really particularly care for the Chow stuff. Me it takes. It's too much. That's now see that's the B3X hotbot that Shadow fought earlier, not the Bigfoot that huh. Sonic was fighting. I didn't realize they that. used the wrong model. Why would Sonic be surprised? Why would he even? He's had those goddamn things so many times. This is a cool song too. Yeah. You know the guy that what? Sings, <laughs> Sorry. The guy that sings this Shadow's vocal theme. I think mm -hmm. his name's Everett Bradley. He um, is uh, one of the members of Bon Jovi's backing band. Really? Now, yeah. Interesting. Because Bon Jovi can't hit the high notes like he used to. Mm -hmm. And this guy has just a velvet voice. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chaos Soda. That's cool, mm -hmm. by the way. What's happening right now is cool. Yeah, it's interesting that it's... It kind of flips back and forth between being like straight up teleporting and him just moving super fast. Mm -hmm. You're never really super clear about that. And Shadow the Hedgehog, it, as a power, is explicitly just, like, flying super fast. Yeah. We're in the pyramid.